Hello, OIC. My name is Molly Wolk, and I took the OIC this past spring, 2015. Your instructor, Abby, has uh, reached out to me asking if I would walk you through one of the online courses that I'm currently teaching. It's medical terminology. It's completely online, and I wanted to walk you through um, my Blackboard shell so that you get a little bit of a taste of perhaps what a completed course could look like, and I would not be able to be here today speaking to you without the help of my instructor, Susan, as well as um, Christine Ward. She helped me a lot in getting this course to what it is now. So I hope you enjoy. I'll just take a few minutes to walk you through kind of the basics of the expectations for a completed um, OIC approved online course. So here we go. Before I set up my screencast-o-matic, one of the first things I always do is set the parameters of what I want my students to see on the Blackboard page. So right now I'm allowing you just to see the page itself. Um, I have taken out the tabs at the top, you know, whatever other screens I have open just so students are focusing right here. The other thing I can do is make my face appear like this. I can move around where my face goes, but I probably wouldn't do this during the screencast-o-matic um, unless it somehow helps with content. So, um, I want to give you an overview here of, um, I'm using the announcements page here. Uh, what I do in my online course is I have set my week to last from Monday mornings at 8 a.m. until Sunday evenings at 11.59 p.m. That's always consistent so the students know exactly what to expect and how to plan their week. Um, this is just an example of what my students are doing this week. You can use your your arrow cursor here and a little yellow circle will show up for if you want to highlight something to your students. In order to stay consistent, I have always set up each weekly module right here in my Our Classroom section. And I'm taking you through the student view right now so that you can see what it looks like. So the week, the current week is always located at the top of the Our Classroom. Students can click on it and they can walk step by step through that week's expectations. So for this week we have the introduction, assignment details, which includes all of the assignments, and then their first exam is located there at the bottom. So something else you want to keep in mind is the use of modules, and in this way students have greater ease in clicking through what you're asking them to do instead of scrolling down. So if you look right about here, which is right about, this is very tricky, right over here you see the little tabs that you can click through. So there will be minimal scrolling, that's what we're going for here. So I always have an introduction video, the objectives for the week, and then a table including all of their assignments, the format they're in, and the due dates. I always put them in bold and red um, so that they're easy, more easy to be distinguished. Um, so we can actually click through this and see how one of these modules works. I always put a brief description in this folder. You will find details, detailed descriptions of the assignments to complete this week. So they get a preview of what they're going to be seeing. And then, let's get this out of the way. They are told to open the embedded document to look at answers for last week's assignment. And so right here you can see there's just one thing per page in this assignment details folder. I always use the same format to keep things consistent. You'll see that I'm telling them to do some reading in their text, and here's their embedded PowerPoint lecture with minimal scrolling down. They click through again, and here is where they can read what their overview expectations are for this week's homework assignment. I've set it up so that they are actually turning in their assignments all through Blackboard instead of through email. Here's their assignment for this week. I gave a description, and then I embedded um, the actual file that they should download and type their work into. They can submit it when they're done there. It's asking me if I want to make any changes. No, I'm not actually doing the assignment. And I clicked on the next part and it took me straight to a link on how does asparagus make urine smell. This, if we go back here, this is a supplemental piece of their week right here. So we'll just go over that. And then lastly, their first exam is located in its own little folder. 
um, with a brief description here of what they need to do. And then when they're ready to take the exam, they can go right in here. Lots of details about when the exam is open, when it will close, um, the fact that it's timed, how many questions they have, and all the nuances of taking the test, such as that they won't be able to back click and see any previous questions or a blackboard might kick them out. So I want to, I always give as many details as possible, probably even, you know, more so than you might think, just to clear up any misconception, preconceptions for the students so that they're feeling ready to go on this exam. All right, so one of the last things that I wanted to point out was that you'll notice that this entire video has been closed captioned by myself. And if you haven't already, I'm sure Abby will take you through how to go and do that in YouTube. Um, there's actually, it's a lot easier than I made it at first. You can actually set the settings so that you type and when you're typing, YouTube will pause your video so that you can actually get every single word in there how you want it to look. So in order to be um, compliant with ADA, all videos that you make, everything that you post in your Blackboard shell has to be ADA compliant for those who can't see or can't hear so that their screen readers um, are actually helping them and not reading, you know, the file names of that you might have accidentally in there. So you always want to caption everything appropriately. So you should see the lovely closed captions right down here. So with that, I think that's the bulk of things for now. Um, you can totally reach out to me if you have questions. Um, I would be happy to offer anything else that you might need in terms of maybe how um, a finished uh, shell should look or specifically um, one in science. So my email is uh, mollywolk at cwidaho.cc and this has been fun. So good luck with the rest of your OIC and um, have a good time. You'll learn a lot, but I'm so grateful that I did it because I would not feel as confident with this online course that I'm teaching if I hadn't done the OIC. So best wishes for a great rest of the week and enjoy the lovely fall season. Um, hope to see you around. Bye.